So, you can see, the event has ended and we won. All we can say is thank you to the um, unsuspecting level 55 player on 132, who our top alliance actually caught with his trousers down in territory. And, as you can see by that, a whopping amount of um, resources in his base, which turned the tide from 132 winning to 134 winning. So, it's all over for the first month. But was Incursions really all it was cracked up to be? Well, why don't we have a quick talk about it in this video? I'm Admiral Pegasus, and this is Star Trek Fleet Command. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see, yes, we won. And like I said, it was basically because we had the opportunity to raid a level 55 player who had double figures or trillions of steel in his base. So it, that literally gave us a win. And it was our top alliance who found him, cracked him and allowed all of us to actually just come in and take a chunk. I actually got four scoops. I thought that will do. But it was over on 132 as well. So that made it a little bit more um a little bit more interesting to say the least. But anyway, what was this really always cracked up to be? Now, for those of you who joined me in the live stream and was actually there when uh, we were going through incursions at the beginning of the stream, I literally pretty much slated incursions, and my opinion really has not changed. It's not exactly the best they've come up with. Well, to be honest, this was supposed to be a revamp. And if this is the best they can come up with, we are surely screwed. Because, yeah, if this was the best they could really, really think of, no. They're clearly not listening to the community. Now, some people did say that they actually did enjoy this, which is brilliant, the fact that some people did actually enjoy this. But for the vast majority of us, Really? For one, the idea was everybody went over to a single server. So you had an invading server. Yes, they was invaded. And a defending server. So we were defending. We were basically meant to be on the defense the whole 24 hours. Yeah. The only clue we had was a single event telling us we were the defenders. Hmm. But yet... The score in here, raid as an invader. Okay, so we're going to get points if we invaded this um, server. Okay, fair dues, we can take that. Raid as a defender. Okay, so we need to raid their bases on our own server. But there's one thing, not even one thing mentioned in the scores about actually, you know, who you, you're supposed to raid. Can you just raid... Your own server's bases, or can you? Re or is it supposed to be purely the en the enemy? Well, logically, you'd say the enemy, but yeah. But it's nice the fact that it actually put po um, points in for actually OPC hunting as well. Not that you'll actually find very many miners out and about, because anybody with a out of common sense for an event like this would have actually recalled. All their miners and would only deploy ships for the PvP events. They'd actually put the PvE off as long as they possibly could, and potentially, you know, try and get a ship out in between in some like maybe quiet times during the incursions. Because there's always going to be that. Usually, when the vast majority of players are actually in bed re recharging their own batteries. But yeah. I, I, to be honest, there's not much I really can say, but we will look at the events. Now, the overall points that you're actually going to get for this event are very lackluster. 2,000 incursion co coin 2. Wow. Really? On the upside, that's allowed me to actually complete the 100 blueprints 
for the um, USS Titan. Yes, the USS Titan video is coming. It, oh, well, uh, so just moving something off the screen. Um, so watch out for that one. A 150% research speed exocom. Yay. Okay. We all could do with having our research, spe um, having that little chunk of time taken off it. Not bad. Two Una shards. Okay. Fair dues. She had um, a, a sourcing of a few, quite a few other shards through leaderboards. Yeah. Through leaderboards. Hmm. Okay. Maybe do with, um, you know, put a zero on the end of that. That would seem like a more reasonable option. The coin two, I'd say, again, add a zero onto that. Make it 20,000. You know, make it actually worth fighting for. Subspace relays. Again, there's um, another leaderboard where you can gain more of these. Well, that's it. A leaderboard. Put a zero on that. Make it like so the players actually, you know, really want to go for it. And, you know, they've added this. And pretty much all it can do is buy avatars or one hailing frequency. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe actually put something a bit more worth in. But the problem is as well. <laughs> yeah. Apparently that pocket watch costs three. Hmm. Okay. So maybe actually put three in so you can actually get something out of that um, store. But... Hey, we'll just quickly look at the event store. But what we're going to do is we're going to actively grade this. Yes, I am actually going to grade this. So, what grade are we looking at for the rewards? Well, to be honest, we can sort of use the um, oh, the um, grading rubric done, done up by um, Revjuice and um, uh, Archduke. Now, where do we go? Which one do we actually actively look for on this one? Well, to be honest, we can sort of, you know, merge it a little bit with like features and the event calendar. So, because there are certain little aspects in what you're going to get. So, um, flat out failure. Well, no, it wasn't a flat out failure. Okay, it, but let's just take that off the table. It's not going to be an F by any stretch of the imagination. But it certainly ain't going to be an A. I'll tell you that much. But the one thing is I can definitely say that there is some benefit for the game here with the subspace relays because it works towards incursions. Some of the stuff you can buy. So there's a bit of a little bit of a benefit. It's not an awful lot. So are we looking at a beef maybe for that one? Or could have been better. Yes, we're definitely looking at the could have been better section of the uh, feature spec, so which would be normally a C. So for these rewards, for actually winning the event, yes, we're going to say um, C. So next up is we're going to look through the events themselves. Now, there is one currently still running. Now, let's move myself over to my usual place and shrink me down a wee bit. And this is it. And basically, it, it, it was a 48-hour event. It's a completionist alliance leaderboard. And basically, you've got, to, you've got to complete the incursions SMS. For the most part, relatively easy to do. Unless you're in a bracket that really doesn't have many active players when it comes to PvP. So it could could be a little bit problematic. Incursions SLX SLB. So you're going to get points for finishing in varying places. Okay, so top 25 and you're going to score points on it. The SLB. Again, it goes all the way down to 100th place on this one. Okay, what are the rewards? Trade XP and... Harrison Shards. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Finishing first place in this event. 650 trade XP. Really? What the hell can you do with 650 trade XP? 
Not a flipping lot. I'll tell you that straight out. Let's just find an officer without... I haven't actually done even the first level yet. Okay, so I managed to find an officer. I went through all the uncommons. They've all got at least level one. But here's one who hasn't got any traits unlocked. To bring because she's constantly on a ship, so I'm not really going to be sending her on away teams. But she do has she does have two traits: resourceful and minor. Resourceful is a level one, three levels. But look how much it costs to unlock her: fifteen hundred. So six hundred trait, six hundred and fifty traits XP is not even half. Why would we even bother for that? I mean, okay, yeah. Fine, you're going to get an extra 650 trade XP. Wow! Means I can break the 8,000 barrier. Whoopie doo da day. But it's not going to benefit me whatsoever. So why would I want to 650 trade XP? Let's jump back. So, yeah. 1,500 for level 1 of the first line. And 650. Yeah, absolutely not. Eight shards of Harrison. Okay. Yeah, there do's. Could be better. How about a full pull? How about a full pull of Harrison for that one? Makes more logical sense to me. <laughs> does this detract from the game? Yes. It absolutely does. Because... The rewards are so lacklustre. Event completionist, the 48 hour event. And it's crap. It's crap. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mince words. It's crap. So yeah, we're we're already for the events we're already starting at a D. Yeah, not looking good, is it? So, now let's have a look at some of the other ones. Now, we've got the ones that wasn't in the bucket. We've got this Alliance um, Leaderboard Research one. Actually, not a fair... <sighs> yeah. 2,250 Axionic Chips. Okay, yes, I will give him that one. That's actually a good reward. Because if we actually look, if I'm if if I'm able. Okay, I'm not able to look at it just now. But if we actually look at this one, 1250. Okay, 1250. So maybe two pulls. Who knows? Yeah, so now I can tell you now that this is 10 times the price of the other chests. Yeah, so you're thinking 125 here, 125, another 125, 375. So 2250, yeah, you're probably looking around about. Three, six, seven, ten fifty. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, seven fifty, ten fifty, eleven, ten seventy five. So what's that? Three days, six days. Yes, yeah, so you're probably looking nearly a week. Then you'll be pulling this every day, plus your daily if you actually use an Exacom. So you're probably looking closer to like 10 days worth. You'll be able to get 10 days worth out of it. That's actually quite beneficial. I will give them that one. So we're looking good. Eight Lalan shards. Yeah. Could be better. Could be better. Full pull. That's what I'd be looking at. Full pull. But, I finished 8th, so I ended up with 3 shards. Yeah. Not exactly rocking it to the next level, have I? So, but no. So, for this one, 
I would definitely say a C. Now, next one. Vessel, vessel specialist. Yeah. Assembly medals. Okay, yeah, fine. That's actually quite good. It's more than what you'd actually get in the chest, but let's have a quick look. So we've got the three chests here. So in this one, we'd be looking at what? 1825. Okay, so we've got 1825 there. And then in the next one, you've got none because it's pure alliance. And then this one, you've got 3,600. And 50. So in total, for just pulling a single chest, on a single pull, you're looking at 5,475. Okay? 5,475. But that's RNG as well. It actually says chance on it. Because you could get actually one of those two. So, actually, let's cut it down to the bottom one, shall we? So we've got an 800 there. Did the other one say... Um, Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the bottom one there is 400. So we know how much that is. That's 1,200. Okay, 1,200 on RNG. 2,500. Okay, so we can take RNG out of it. That is twice the amount. Okay, I'll accept that. Good. That's a good one. Bashir, eight shards. Really? How many did I get for finishing 14th? One. Full pull. Sorry, it's got to be a full pull again. It's a rare officer. You want to make these events worth alliances chasing after. Okay. L just take, for example, the alliance I'm in. It's a fairly relaxed reliant, fairly relaxed alliance. I'm third, for God's sake. And all I did was one ship, one level. That was level 29 to 30 of the Kelvin. Level 29 to 30, and I got that. And this is a fairly relaxed reliance that I've, so far, obviously since I've joined them, I've noticed they're actually quite laid back. So, not quite my style, but I could do with a relaxing time for a while. So, but yeah. So, what am I going to grade vessel, vessel specialist? Yeah. It's going to have to be a C again. Yeah. It could be better, but it's not going to detract from the game because the assembly medals is literally two pulls. Now, obviously, if we went on the maximum, you're looking at 5,400. So it's only half. But again, those chests are RNG based. So dollars to donuts, you're looking at the low pull every time you pull a chest. So that's actually not too bad. It's actually worth it. But Bashir could be better. Yeah. Typical, isn't it? And we seem to be on course here for a C. Better than I was expecting. So, now we got these. Yes, two cross server leaderboards and a normal leaderboard. So, we're going to start with this one the champion. Winning PvPs. Now, again, yeah, this comes down to players actually, you know. Fighting each other. But then you've got a lot of players who don't want to fight each other. So they're not going to deploy a ship. So. Yeah. I mean. I finished 299th. You saw what I did in the live stream. I just sent six ships out. And I won about six fights. That was it. Six fights. And there was no incentive for me to actually carry on. Wasting Tritanium. Because. Where's the rewards for Tritanium? There isn't any. Why, why would I want to go out as a free-to-play player? I bet my, it's got to be that Pacific line. Not somebody who's prepared to spend some money. A free-to-play player. 
Why would a free-to-play player go out, fight other players, waste significant amount of titanium for that? 14 shards of Una, 5,000 subspace relays. Now, don't get me wrong. That's actually not too bad. Yeah, I can give it that. That actually, I would say, yeah, that is B level. But what's bringing it down is there's no titanium. And that's the problem as well with this event. There are no titanium payouts. And that's the biggest ball ache for players. So, sorry, got to come down. Champion. C could be better. Okay. It's not, it doesn't detract from the game, this, because actually they, those relays do actually add for that particular building. But there's no titanium. And I'm sorry, I'm going to pull it down because of that. So, there is that. Now, the next one, we'll go for the other XL, XSLB. Raiding. Now, raiding is actually, yeah. You're basically wasting titanium to get into a base. Now, depending on how often you need to hit that base to actually crack it. So, there's possibly a potential titanium payout that you could really do with back. But you're potentially going to get that back with raiding. So, can't say anything too much. Payouts, pretty good. Not going to lie. 15,000 relays. 20 shards of ROM. Now, Rom is our primary base cracking officer. Put him in a captain seat. He will delay all ships and defense platforms for the first round. Good. Put him on a Saladin. Cheaper repairs. And if you actually put a nice punching crew with it with him, you probably could actually deal some pretty good damage. Yeah. Raiding's the problem as well. Because if, if you've got a base that's got trillions and trillions, it could take you hours. And I've mentioned before about why I don't raid. Because it takes too flipping long. But I do have an idea on how we can get that. But we'll discuss that later on in the video. So, Raider, actually, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be um, shabby on this one. B. We're going to say a B for this because it does benefit the game, those relays, and adding those 20 shards of ROM, RNG is not too bad in the Ultra Chest neither. I'm, I pull him on a regular basis. So, wait, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem bad for me. So, and obviously I went over and I was scoring off this one because obviously I scored. And when I finished 18th, so I walked away with 1,850 relays. And three ROM shards. Okay, maybe could be a little bit better, but hey ho, maybe put the rank one at half, not a full, a half pull of ROM. So 50 shards would be a lot better, a lot better, but those relays, I'm not going to take it away. So I'm going to say that's actually better. We'll give this one a B. Now, the solo leaderboard for your own server. Damage as a defender. Now, this is the only one that tells you your your server is the defending server. I would presume there is one for invade invader damage. Damaging as an invader. So, but what payouts we got here? Syndicate XP. Always a good one. More Una shards. Deal damage. Deal hull damage. Again, Tritanium. Where is it? No Tritanium in this. It's expecting you to go out, kill other players, smack bases, but it's not going to give you anything in return for, for the repair costs. Sorry. Could be better. Could be better. But not going to detract from the game because of the Syndicate XP. So... This one is going to be a C for me. Um, I'm presuming the um, invaders are pretty much the same. 
So, yeah, we're looking at a C for this one. Now, I finished 51st, so where was I? Second from bottom, so I got two Unashads, 1,125 Syndicate XP. Is what it is, okay? I can't say it any more than that. There's actually a fair whack of Unashads available in this, so I can't say that detracts from the game, because it will benefit for those who actually want to go after Una, or who want to upgrade up to level her up. But, yeah. So, that's Incursions. Now, where's the SMS? PvP win or loss. What's the payouts? Steel and ore. Steel and ore. Now, Incursion Coin 2 as well is in there. You got a thousand of them for doing this. Yay! So if you're the winning server in total, you'll end up with... 3,000. Is it really worth it? Well, you can make an argument, say yes, it is. But then when you think about everything you've got to potentially pay for, no. Maybe... Maybe 2,000 coins. Or maybe 4,000. No, sorry. 4,000. 4,000 coins would be nice. That, that'd work. But then again, let's have a look at the steel. A million steel. I'm an Ops 44. My Ops 45 is ready for me to start. I'm just waiting for one of those material spends. Let's have a look. My ops building. Bear in mind, I've, my efficiency re research is pretty damn good. 10.7 billion. Billion. One million as a reward. Compared to the cost of that ops. Crap. Absolutely Crap. But again, it's a PvP event. Fighting. Where's... The, you know, okay, fine. Bad example. That's got Tritanium there. But again, where's the Tritanium in the payouts? There isn't any. Now, what would make it better? Potentially. Somebody stung me. Never mind. 2 billion Tritanium payout would actually be more beneficial. For me, as an Ops 44 player, that would allow me to actually go out. Because I can tell you now, if I went out and I wanted to do the Defender Damage leaderboard, I could do it. But one... I've got to find players to actually shoot. Two, it's going to cost me a hell of a lot in repairs. But, in this event, I could have just simply sit in that system, written in blue, with ships. And say, right, come and hit me, guys. I don't care if I lose. I'll just send it back in and repaired. But yet, there's no titanium to compensate me for that. So what, where is the incentive for me or you to go beyond this SMS? Send your ships in. I mean, hell, just send a discovery in. It's cheap on repairs. The Cerritos isn't too bad on repairs. It's better than sending a jellyfish in. You got a G3 Epic. It's still cheaper than the Franklin A or the Cerritos. Where's the compensation in Tritanium for me to go beyond this, to go beyond that top milestone? Okay, 4.2 million. Yeah, I went beyond it. <laughs> but I mean, where? To carry on for that SLB. There isn't any. D. 
Yep, sorry. To me, it, it, it does detract from the game. Yes, it's going to give me some incursion coins, which is good. But it's detracting from the game because it's not giving me an incentive. It's not giving me any sort of compensation for really going at this event. Like I said, ideally, I'd be looking at around 2 billion Tritanium. And I'll tell you one thing, right? With the total repair cost of an Orga, so my Valdor, being close to 100 million. 100 million Tritanium. And that's with cost efficiencies. I mean, let's just have a look at the cost of the Talios. Bearing in mind that this is a tier 5 Talios. Only the cargo bay left to actually upgrade. But it's still level 25. I, I, I use my pen. I use my pen. 9.1 million Tritanium. Bet yours is more expensive. For those higher players. Would 2 million Tritanium be more beneficial for you than 1 million Steel? Certainly would me. And that's why I say it's got to be a B. Uh, uh, sorry, a D. So, overall, what are we looking at for incursions? Well, we have a C, a D, C, 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 B, C, D. Wow. So, let's add up all the points based on the Rubik. So, we have... A C at 2, D at 1, some more C's at 2 each, so that's another 6. Then we've got a B at 3, then we've got another C at 2, and then another D at 1. So, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15 points there. 15 points. And how many, how many things have I done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Two points each. Oh, guess what? That's a C. Incursions. C. Wow. I mean, to be honest, there are some aspects which do not detract from the game. But they certainly could be better. So, what could actually be better for this? Well, for one, get rid of that 24-hour timer. It doesn't need to be 24 hours. Now, my idea... And I don't know if anyone from Scopely will be watching this, but we forgot to grade the event store. Ooh. To be honest, the event store's actually not too bad. It's just the length of time. So, yeah, the event store, I'm going to say, will be a C. But it's not going to change the overall outcome. It's still a C. So instead of it being 15 points, it's 17 points. Yeah. So. Still two points. It's still a C. I can't, I can't give the event start anything more than a C. Because it's taking way too long to get the strike teams. And some of the other stuff is actually not too bad. Like getting the um, Titan. But we'll, we will look at that in a minute. But anyway. Reduce the timer on the incursions. Two hours. Now, I was thinking, incursions... Now, this is actually a good idea, home and away basis. Doing it on a home and away basis. For two hours, you've got one alliance running as defender. But make sure that these actually say points scored on server, for instance, 134. So, raiding server 134. So, sorry, invader. So, invading 134. Points there. Defending, 134. Points there. And then make a note saying, no points gained for PvP on 132. Make it quite clear. Make it quite clear. Deal damage on 134. And then instead of up there putting home and rival, put defender, invader. So, 134, Defender. 132, Invader. So, everyone can see. Yes. So, everyone knows who the defending server is. Make it abundantly clear. 
But yeah, so run it on a home and away basis. Two hours. And starts a uh, event change. Okay, starts an event change for two hours. Then after two hours, everything stops. No more. Then 20, 22 hours later, you switch. So then 134 become the evader, 132 become the defender. Two hours then. Everything on 132. Two hours solid. And join those two hours, you give the amalgam a big, big, big boost. Not an XCOM, it's an automatic boost. Taking its cargo pull to 50% the, ba the uh, defending base's loot. 50%. So players can get round drain bases faster. Yeah. Now, the downside to it for the event change sort of thing is for those who are still at work, who really want to participate, they won't actually be able to get in the, into the game. Those like shift workers, not the standard from UK's perspective, not the nine to five workers, because the five o'clock workers, they can quickly log in on the train ride home, the, the bus ride home, certainly don't do it in your car while you're driving, but you'll certainly be wanting to get home fast enough to get logged in, or get on your PC, get logged in, and start raiding. So maybe like 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. UK time. Also one hour after event change. One hour after event change. Still again doesn't help the shift workers. Unless you're working at somewhere where you can actually hide in a corner. Get whip your phone out and, go, do, 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 and start raiding. But there's got to be a compromise somewhere. Two hours. Exocom. Uh, well. Actually, just an automatic boost for the amalgam to drain bases fast. So players can get in. Deal damage. Points only. That's it. That's all you need for the points. You don't need all those events. I mean, really? Yeah, just do an event for dealing damage. Bracket it according to um, the relevant levels. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll, yeah, we'll say that one. But, Yeah. And certainly make Tritanium and Dilithium as a payout. And as for the rewards here, well, I've already said earlier about how to improve this. So, now, let's have a quick look at the event store that we got with this. Um, so, you've got the Incursion Trophies, which is, yay! As you can see, I've got one because obviously we won. These are all the things that I can get at the minute. So I've got a cost phases avatar. Woohoo! An incursions challenger frame. Why? I should have the I should be able to get the veteran in all honesty. But it's two, so I'd have to win the next one. And then there's a hailing frequency. But you need three. So you need three wins to actually get this. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's it's not good enough. Next up is the Incursion Store. Um, there's actually one disappeared off here, but that's fair dues. So, Fleet Commanders, 150 Incursion Coin 2 each. Not too bad. That'll take you a couple of months to unlock one if you actually get enough coins. So, absolutely, to me, yes, it'll definitely be worth it for those who either want Kirk or Spock. Get those final shards a little bit faster than relying on the RNG from the um, the chest in the gift section. Those who have got both Kirk and Spock. Who now want the cutest. Can go get him. Seven of nine. She's a bit meh. So the, there's only certain things that you'd probably want her for. But again. If you've got Spock, Kirk and the cutest. You can go after seven of nine. So not a bad option. Mantis. Good idea. Um, Defiant. Yes. Titan, as you can see, I've got 64 remaining, so which means I've pulled. It's helped me finish that off. It'll help you get all three ships over time. But bearing in mind, at the minute, Mantis no, has no official sourcing. So if you haven't got your Mantis yet, 
That would be your first stop, in my opinion. Defiant, Titan. Again, you're getting the blueprints on a monthly drip, uh, on a daily drip, when you actually do unlock them at ops 38 and, and 37, respectively. Me, I've finished off the Titan. I'm impatient. So if you are impatient, you can actually finish, finish them off. So, next one. Officers, Cisco, absolute definite you, is an officer that you definitely would want. Odo, not a, absolutely a clue. Potentially, from what I've heard, he could be is could be a good officer. Jagzia, yeah, again, you're gonna need a lot of stats for her. Um, Strange New Worlds, Una Chen, uh, Riley, yeah, okay. Synergy with Pike and Sh Battle uh, Battleship Strike Team. For those of you who still need her, me, I've already got Una, so I don't need to worry. I could potentially get another six shards towards getting her to the next level. Ortegas, I've got unlocked, so the only one I'm missing is Lalan, but I'm a long way off. Again, 3,000 coins is not enough to really do much with in regards to getting the strike team. So, 20,000 for the win, 4,000 for that SMS. Yeah. 24,000. Bear in mind that you need about four. Um, let me think. 4,000. You need about 40,000. Just to unlock. Unlock. Um, strike Team Milan. But you think about it. 24,000. Two months. Two months. And you can unlock her. But will Scopely do that for you? Don't count on it. But as well, there's, the other strike teams are not here. Why? This was supposed to be the place to source the strike teams. And they're not here. Instead, they put solo Amada directors at a stupid, stupid price. One month it will take you to do that to get one solo director, uh, one solo Amada. One rare solo matter. I can get three every two days. Three every two days. Yeah. Kind of puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Once every 30 days for this, or three every two days. So that's around about 60, give or take, in a month. So, yeah, there's clearly some disconnect with whoever revamped this. Rodidium, yeah, okay, and con Condensed Venom. Now, Condensed Venom, I can agree with for those who actively like stinging people. So, but again, like I said, this was not going to attract from the store. It's a C, no matter what. To be honest, I could probably make a case to make it a D, but I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give it a C. So, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Also, what do you think about my idea of just a, a two-hour event on one day, the following day, another two-hour event switched around? Do you think that would actually probably be the best way for incursions to go? My opinion, yes, it would. But I'll leave that to you to decide. Thanks for joining me on the video. Don't forget, if you'd like to um, like and subscribe to the channel as well, please. Every like obviously does um, send the video even further. Sus subscriptions really do help the channel. If you wish to donate, uh, please feel free. I already have had a donation, which to MW, thank you, thank you so much. That was an absolute generous donation. I, I do appreciate that one. Um, so, yeah, so somebody's already donated, um, MW's donated £50 to the channel so that's now gone into the pot fund um i have been asked if i wanted to buy a microphone so that's on the hit list and also i was actually thinking i mean i, sh I shouldn't really but i was thinking about the um dry dock h for my base
that one there. Not not that one. That one. So I was thinking about that. So I've got an extra dock, but something I'd have to think about. Um, but no. So the fifty pound has been added to the donation target. So thank you very much, MW. Your donation. Thank you so much. Is very so much love. Um, also, we do have the link for the Discord in the channel in the video's um, description as well. So, next video is going to be either Tal or the Titan, probably Tal actually, which will be dropping tomorrow. So, just watch out for that one. And obviously, I will be dropping a video for the Titan when I've actually done it because I've, first I've got to build the Titan. And then I've got to wait till the following day for the dailies to kick in. So I, so the video is going to be done in two bits, put together. So, yeah. So there are the next two videos coming up. And also, Arcfall on Tuesday, Voyager Part 2. What are we going to get? Don't know. Think Janeway's coming. Maybe. Don't know. Touch wood. We'll have to wait and see. But anyway. So, I'm Admiral Pegasus. Thank you for joining me on the show. As you can see, the donation has been added. Stay safe, live long and prosper, and I'll see you on the Tal video. Goodbye.